Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on in. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are starting the first, the next game in the long list, Ultima 7, suggested by our very own community member, Wid Monarchy. Here, later. Here us on, I'm sure. Um, this will be my first Ultima game, my first time playing Ultima 7, obviously. Uh, so this will be a completely blind playthrough. I don't mind a bit of, like, uh... You know, guidance, if anyone knows these games a bit well. I'll be taking notes, and I've got my manual uh, at the ready. <laughs> Why doesn't this surprise me, What me never having played a uh, Ultima game? Murik, and welcome on in, Murik. It's good to see you, as always. I have been uh, catching up on your YouTube releases of the Full Quiet playthrough. I love watching that game. It's, it's so awesome. <laughs> Can't wait to see you play more. Yeah, everyone check out Murig. Fantastic uh, streamer. Does a lot of speed running and uh, of Metroid, uh, Blaster Master, other various things. Squid using Ultima. Yes, yes. Squid, uh, Squid loves Ultima. Squid loves old RPGs like that, like uh, Neverwinter Nights and whatnot. Um, episode 3, currently in edit. Hell yeah. Oh, I, will, I am happy to be your editing entertainment. I always have someone to watch while I'm editing as well. But yeah, let's uh let's let's play some Ultima, shall we? Uh I'm excited. I've I don't even really know what this game plays like. I watched uh Chill Runs play a lot of Ultima Six and he was very lost. <laughs> uh he, he got stuck, as I remember. Um so but we have a guide we have we have a, a person to guide us and I have a I even have a spoiler free hint guide that I can consult. And we've got the manual. We've got the we've got the cheat sheet for the copy protection because <laughs> the game comes with that on GOG. And uh, thanks to Squid Monarchy for suggesting this game and uh, also for purchasing it for me. So that was very nice. So thank you again for uh, gifting the game to me. I appreciate it. Um. So yeah, let's just jump into it, shall we? There we go. All right. Love that old school DOS music. I haven't even really watched any of this. I did a little bit to test it, but... Avatar! Know that Batata me. has entered into a new age of enlightenment. Know that the time has finally come for the one true lord of Britannia to take his place at the head of his people. Under my guidance, Britannia will flourish, and all of the people shall rejoice and pay homage to their new Guardian, know that you too shall kneel before me, Avatar. You too will soon acknowledge my authority, for I shall be your companion, your provider, and your master. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I had a computer look just like that. Something is obviously amiss. It has been a long time since your last... Oops. The mystical orb beckons you. It has opened gateways to Britannia in the past. Behind your house is the Circle of Stones. Why is a moon gate already there? Do you have what one path to answer? That text goes by so fast. 
Yep, well, we're teleported. Black Gate, the Forge of Virtue. I'm assuming that was the introduction. Just double check. Bagashi Sama! Yeah, that was the intro. Alright. Uh, welcome on in, Megashi Sama. Good to see you as always. Just in time for the start, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start a new game. Name. Lunge. So we can choose our male or female. Can we change our portrait? It doesn't look like it. We are just uh, a blonde guy. That's fine. Journey onward. I like the music. Yeah, full quiet. I I was just talking about that. It is horrible. I know. Tis shocking. Who could have done it? I know not. I have had no enemies, poor man. What is to be done? I know not. A rather large, familiar man looks up and sees you. The shock that is evident from your dumb, from his dumbfounded expression quickly evolves into delight. Smi uh, he smiles brightly, broadly. Plunge! If I did not trust the infallibility of mine own eyes, would not believe it. I was just thinking to myself, if only the Avatar were here, then... Lo and behold! Who says that magic is dying? Here is living proof that it is not. Dost thou realize, Plunge? That I, it hath been two hundred Britannian years since we last met? Why, thou hast not aged at all. Yolo winks conspiratorially. He whispers, Do no doubt to the difference in the structure of time in our original homeland and that of Britannia. He resumes as speaking aloud. I have aged a little, as thou canst see. But of course, I have stayed here in Britannia all this time. Oh, but Avatar, wait until I tell you the others. They will be happy to see thee. Welcome to Trinsic. Yeah, I want to play Full Quiet too. <laughs> the distraught peasant interrupts Yolo. Show him the stables, my lord. It is horrible. Yolo nods, his joy fading quickly as he is reminded of the reason he was standing there in the first place. Ah, yes, our friend Peter here discovered something truly ghastly this morning. Take a look inside the stables. I shall accompany thee. All is not right in Britannia. Perhaps Lord British will know the reason behind this tremor. Oh, you have me. You may have means for me, Murig. Nice. Good old Lord British. You see a middle-aged nobleman. Yolo, who is this stranger? Why, he is the Avatar. Yolo proudly proclaims. Canst thou believe it? May I introduce thee? This is Finnegan, the town mayor. And this is Plunge, the Avatar. I simply cannot believe he is here. The mayor looks you up and down, not sure if he believes Yolo or not. He looks at Yolo skeptically. I swear to thee, it is the Avatar. The mayor looks at you again as if he were studying... Every pore of your face. Finally, he smiles. Welcome, Avatar. But just as suddenly, Finnegan's face becomes stern. A horrible murder has occurred. If thou art truly the Avatar, perhaps thou canst help us solve it. I would feel better if thou takest this matter into thine hands. Thou shalt be handsomely rewarded if thou dost discover the name of the killer. Dost thou accept? Yes. 
Peter here knows something about all of this. Peasant interjects. I discovered poor Christopher and the gargoyle Inamo early this morning. This Ultima? <laughs> the mayor continues. Hast thou searched the stables? No. Then I suggest that thou lookest inside and talkest to me again. Hopefully the full quiet player is going to move to Tuesdays for now. Got to get more speedruns going. That is entirely fair. I'll look out for that on Tuesday then. Okay, so what are the controls like here? God, okay. Can't seem to move. Maybe it's... No. Oh, so he's in my party. Okay. Friend snorts. What art thou joking, my lord? Thou dost not know thine old friend Yolo? Bye. Okay. It's always a pleasure to speak with thee, my friend. Oh, I see. Arrow keys. Got it. Oh, dear. Wow. Uh, this escalated quickly. All right, let's uh, set up a crime scene. Yeah, I'm playing the PC version. Is there a different version I should be playing? I mean, this was the one that uh, Squid Monarchy got for me. I know there's a SNES version. Yeah. Yeah, Peeps was asking me what the difference between the SNES and the PC version is, and like, I haven't played either. <laughs> oh my god! Gargoyle jewelry? Oh, that's me. Well, okay, I can actually, like, look at things. Yeah, hey, that's definitely a body. So, cool. Okay, I can use the numpad. That's nice, so I can do a diagonal movement. All right. Victim, yep. That's a peasant. Fuck this peasant. Version is largely different from the original since the PC version of the game was a then huge 20 megabytes if the translation could use only one megabyte of memory of the game data. The game is largely real-time action bearing many similarities to Ultimate Runes of Virtue. Right. Maps and many usable items and plot lines had to be redesigned from scratch, and the game program had to be rewritten entirely in assembly. Wow. Party system was scrapped and said they have a chart journeys alone. Also, the story was largely changed in accordance to Nintendo's content guidelines. Yeah, I wonder what they had to change for Nintendo's content guidelines. <laughs> Whole different yeah, it's literally just a different game. Yeah, they may as well just not even call it ultimate at that point. Okay, so I can right click to move. Try to figure out what all the buttons are. Ooh, I can hit. Well, wait. One point I accidentally brought up a menu. Okay, so Z does that. That's all of my stats. There's YOLO stats. Okay, that's it.
Do I close this? Okay, check. Sure what that does. Okay, that's like credits. <laughs> Welcome on in. Oh my god. Hey Ariella. How you doing? <laughs> Trying to roll. <laughs> I should put that in just for you. Welcome on in. How are you doing tonight? How is your stream? And uh hello BZ Monsoon. It's nice to meet you. That's that Ariella. Fantastic streamer. Does a lot of Doom and uh other shooters. Uh and does a lot of singing on stream. But yeah, welcome on in. It's good to see you as always. Greetings, Avatar. Are you, a, uh, are you an Ultima fan, BZ? Maybe you can help me out here. I'm still trying to figure out the controls. <laughs> okay, so that's... Something. Is that the save menu? Yes, it is. All right, let's do a save. That changes the style of mouse that you're using. <laughs> I do need help. My uh, my guide person will be here later, but uh, I'm just getting started, so. The backseating is fully encouraged. I'm just kind of pressing buttons to see what they do. <laughs> Oh, you haven't played this since the 90s? No, it's okay. No worries. I will do my best. Hey, that's I found the inventory. That's the I key. That makes sense. Uh, I have a dagger. What's that? Okay, so that's another way to get to the save menu. Ooh, maps. Nice. <clears throat> well, I will let you know if I need the maps. I wonder if the manual... I didn't see a map in the manual, so... Your armor... I don't know what that is, what that toggle is. Another toggle. What's this? What? <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but we're going to keep it to that, I guess. Wow, we have seven stones! I think that's carry weight. Some of these old DOS games give me a warm feeling. Yeah, same. There's a lot going on here. Oh, and there's uh, Yolo's inventory. He's got a crossbow. And 30 bolts. Nice. Okay. So he's a bolter. Okay. key da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Pressing random buttons to see what happens. Yeah. Oh, I can double click? Okay. I don't know what that does. Is that like a targeted move? Alright, what happens if I follow this trail? Stairs? What? Those don't look like stairs. I guess they are. Garbage. Mostly don't know how to, like, pick things up or interact with the world. 
It's the nostalgia, yeah. So it changes to that if I hit spacebar. Just the hand. Change my. That's a bucket. <laughs> What happens if I go up these stairs? Yes, a simpler time. Okay, that just goes... I see, that's just stairs into the pen. Horse wasn't there before. It is a horse! Or trough. I do like the music. But the inventory of the corpse? I do this. Uh oh, someone came in and saw. Yeah, no. Fine, we'll be fine. We got, we got horseshoes, we got clippers. So if I double click, I can talk to YOLO. The town has changed little, has it not? Everyone seems a little defensive, though. When we ran into each other, I was passing through and had stopped to visit my friend Finnegan. Okay, bye. So can I talk to this peasant? <laughs> See, a really distraught peasant. Art thou really the Avatar? Yes. Peter bows before you. My lord! Goodbye. Greetings. The horse just say greetings. So it seems I can interact by double click. Double clicking on the victim doesn't do anything for me. So when I double click on the key, I get this little targeting thing. Yeah, there's a key there. I just, I can't seem to figure out how to pick it up. Same with that treasure up there. I do have a manual. Let me take a look, see if that has any controls in it. Manual PDF. It is a lot of lore. E for the runes. Armor, stables. Traveler's Companion. Search through this PDF.
Yeah, I don't think this manual has controls in it. This manual appears to be just like, here's the world, here's the lore. But that, that'll be a good reference guide. No, like, here's what the buttons do. If I can find thing. Ultima 7 controls. Okay, C turns combat mode on and off. That seems important. I is inventory, Z is stats, S opens the save load window, A turns all audio effects on and off, B displays a scroll showing the version number of your copy of Ultima 7, Alt X exits, H changes the handiness of the mouse by swapping the function to the left and right mouse buttons, that, that's the right and left hand thing, escape closes uh, uh, save and load windows. Huh. So it doesn't actually say anything about, like, how to interact with the world. <laughs> Weird. Everything just, like, double-clicking. It never hurts to help. It never hurts to help. You can hold to pick up items. Oh, thank you, Magashi-sama. That is uh, very helpful. Okay. I think I accidentally turned. What's this key that I have now? Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Magashi-sama. Like, how do I pick things up? <laughs> this is a crucial thing in this game. I should have waited for uh, Squid Monarchy to be here, but I was impatient. I don't know what I just did. Oh, that's combat mode. So that's when the combat mode's on. Okay. Wasted an arrow or something. Too heavy. Can I grab the candles? I certainly can. Can't take them because they're lit candles. Leave that for now. Grab the pitchfork. Ultima 7 pickup items, thank you. That was gonna be my next my next look. Like, how do I pick things up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's take that treasure. Why not? So did I take that key? This all, all I'm gonna have to have Squid explain to me because I have no idea what that all means. Backpack. Okay, so we have stuff. Hey, we do have a map. Oh, there's our map. Cool. In-game map. All right, that was on a locked chest or door. Okay. Those, were those keys? I couldn't tell. Thank you, YOLO. Ten gold coins. Three lockpicks. Got it. Okay. Cup. Bottle. Apple. Bread. Okay. That's our inventory. So did I not pick up that key? I give it to you. He's got an abacus, 30 bolts, cup, bottle, bread, beef. Okay. You know, chat GPT, I can just say a fucking wall of people using confidential info and not. Mm -hmm. 
Was IBM said three leaks already happened due to ChatGPT storing info on their servers? That's awful. Can I take the bucket? I completely lost track of that key. Oh, it's it's in my hand. Okay. Let's put that. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Can I take these look like calipers? Tongs? You never know. Come in handy. Bag here? Torch? Ed, why not? I can move the body? No. Can I take the shovel? That might come in handy. Hell yeah. What's this? Break? Sure. And a pitchfork? Is that too much? What if I give it to the other guy? Right here? No. Yes. Stand away. Supposed to figure out who murdered this guy in the stables. <laughs> who needs a horse? <laughs> Does he have anything else important to say about the murder? Ugly is it not? From what I have heard, neither Christopher nor Inamo observed a so grisly a death. Thou shouldst certainly ask everyone in town about it. Okay. Bye. This is my lord. Murder. I discovered poor Christopher and Dynamo and Dynamo earlier this morning. I did not touch a thing. Made me sick, it did. That's it. What about the footprints? They don't lead out the back way, yes? They must be the tracks of the murderer. Or murderers! His eyes widened a bit more. Who's... What about Inamo? He worked for very little money, did basic chores around the stables and the pub. I let him sleep in the little back room. He must have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Really? Well, Christopher. Nice man. He made the shoes for mine horses. Now, 
I am the stable's caretaker. But the stables. I have worked here for years. I can sell thee a nice horse and carriage if thou dost want one. The animal and the carriage are located in a small shelter just outside the north gate of the town. Right now, the place gives me the creeps. His eyes are wild with fright. The horse and the carriage combination sells for 60 gold. Dost thou want a title? No. Some other time, then. Buy a horse and carriage from here. You see an alert and no-nonsense guard. Your name? Johnson. What's your job? I have the yeah. morning watch. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Give it honest follows here. What? I have the morning watch guarding the dock. I authorize the comings and goings of every ship. What about murder? I did hear of this. When I arrived at my post at sunrise, I found Gilberto lying felled on the ground. If thou art asking if I saw anything, I did not. No one hath passed by me since I arrived at the dock. <coughs> if thou dost want a ship, thou must get a deed from the shipwright. Thou must also have the password to the town. Password. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Along with the king. Please. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Thou dost not know the password? I am sorry, the mayor may give thee the proper password. Gotta get that. Good day. There's the church. The Book of the Fellowship by Batlin of Britain. Good morning to thee, gentle friend and traveler. No matter what time of day... This is from the manual. Is this the whole book? Let's read that first page. No matter what time of day it might be, when thou re art reading this, no matter what the hour of the clock, I say good morning to thee, because this very moment brings to thee the coming of the dawn. The dawn, as everyone knows, is the moment when the illumination comes. The dawn marks this, uh, marks the end of the long, dark night. The moment that marks a new beginning. It is my humble hope these words may be for thee a dawning. Or at last, awakening. I don't think I think it's just that page. Yeah, that's the that's the manual. What the manual tells you. Let's steal from the church. This man exudes Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. We have anonymous follows here. Uh, thank you for joining us. This man exudes kindness and gener geniality. Ah, Avatar! I recognized thee at once. Word has moved through town quick. I had heard thou wert here. Your name, good sir. My name is Clog. Sounds like a job for plunge. <laughs> that murder. Well, the man says, reflecting, I was home all night, and my wife, Ellen, will certainly verify that. But as we say in the fellowship, worthlessness precedes reward. Christopher must have done something bad. And the poor gargoyle, Enemo, tis a pity. But Enemo. I did not know the gargoyle. It sounds as if he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It is a pity. Keep saying that. Christopher. Christopher was a valued member of the Fellowship for some time. 
Unfortunately, we got into a petty argument last week. What about that argument? Last week, Christopher stated that he wanted to leave the Fellowship. Canst thou imagine? Well, we simply attempted to speak with him and alter his decision. Man verbally assaulted me and my companions with no provocation. They have gone to the Fellowship headquarters in Britain. They were here delivering the Fellowship's funds. Their names are Elizabeth and Abraham. Yeah. I am the Trinsic branch leader for the Fellowship. I work here with my wife, Ellen. What about Ellen? She is my wife and bookkeeper for our branch. Uh, what about the Fellowship? The Fellowship meets here at the branch office in Trinsic every night at nine. Thou art welcome to attend. The Fellowship is the philosophical group devoted to the teachings of a truly great man named Batlin. In the absence of the Avatar, Batlin has become a sort of spiritual father for the people of Britannia. Through his speeches and writings, he has changed the lives of many people, including my own. Philosophy The Fellowship of advances the philosophy of sanguine cognition, a way to apply a confident order of thought to one's life. Through what is called the triad of inner strength. Triad is simply three basic principles that, when applied in unison, enable one to be more creative, satisfied, and successful in life. They are strive for unity, trust thy brother, and worthiness precedes reward. Strive for unity basically means that the people should cooperate and work together. Trust in thy brother implies that we are all the same and that we should not hate or fear each other. Worthiness precedes reward suggests that we must each strive to be worthy of that which we want out of life. Dost thou want to join? Sure. Then thou shouldst go immediately to see Batlin at the Fellowship Hall headquarters in Britain. Bye. If there is anything else I may help thee with, Plunge, let me know. Great. This is a woman who seems pleasant and welcoming. I am proud to meet the Avatar, she says, beaming. My name is Ellen. What about that murder? Tis awful, is it not? Of course, I was home with Clog all night. What is your job? I do the bookkeeping at the Fellowship Branch. I work with mine husband, Clog. Uh, I don't know if I need to ask her about the Fellowship. Anyway. Move on. For now. Goodbye. I hope to see thee again soon. Do, 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 do. Are you hungry, are you? Oh my god, it's such a pile of junk. Just exploring the town. Empty house. Nobody's home. What's this? <laughs> What's so funny? Smithy? When do we eat? What's happening? Get his crossbow out? Whoa! That, like, cloud overhead? The heck? 
that the shadow monster from Lost? What's happening? The game really emphasizes how hard it would be to keep a band of adventurers uh, fed, evil laugh. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Crowd, this uh, cloud is creeping me out. Is that bad? Is that, is that just like ambience? What was that? Oh, it's just a person. Okay. <laughs> I am a bit hungry. Got some food in his pack, doesn't he? Now how do I feed him? Bolts. Insert food into rectum. Got it. Bend over, YOLO. <laughs> they're just like no no he's just gonna have to complain about being fed about being hungry for now double click double click gives me this I have to like Ah, okay, yep. Double click and then target him with it. Ah, very tasty. Cool. Uh, let's do a save. I think I've done anything that's gonna, like, really kill me. I have a bad feeling. I will stagger saves once I do something a bit more significant. Want to get yourself stuck? Yeah, for sure. You see a salty old sailor who reeks of tobacco. What's your name? My name is Gagan, he sniffs loudly. What's your job? I am the Trinsic Shipwright. If thou bills wouldst like to know about a ship a sextant, just say so. Gargan coughs. I heard about that terrible thing to happen. Can't say I saw or heard anything, though. Gargan coughs, clears his throat loudly, and then spits. Charming. Thou does want to buy a ship? The old man asks, smiling. Apparently not too many folks buy ships these days. My ships are sturdy and well built. They may not be built by Owen, but they are fine vessels. But thou must first purchase a deed. Gargan wipes his runny nose on his sleeve. Who's Owen? Thou hast not heard of Owen? Finest ship right in the land. He, wa he lives in Minoc. Gargan coughs. How about a sextant? I sell sextants for 80 gold. Want one? Uh, no. Suit thyself. Feeling all right, man? Cargan coughs, wheezes, and then lights his pipe. On inhaling, he has a coughing spasm until he finally catches his breath. Never felt better! Well, bye. May thy day have smooth sailing, the sailor starts to say, but a coughing spasm interrupts him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not doing so good. Bloodied Blades and Buxom Beauties by A.G. Fishmore This illustrious tome depicts the life of the romantic pirate, Rogera, as she sails the Northeast Sea, 
As he travels from port to port, his adventures become increasingly dangerous and equally lucrative. Climax of the novel finds Rogera in the clutches of a despotic island uh, ruler, from whom he must escape and save the beautiful native princess. My Cup Runneth Over by Messina illustrious, This illustrious volume holds many detailed instructions for neophyte vintars. The books even includes tips on selecting choice grapes and proper labeling techniques. The tome lists several monks from the Brotherhood of the Rosa as sources. It's a well. Well, well, well. This must be the tavern. The Honorable Hound. Registrar. Registrar? Register? Walter of Britain. Jaffa of You. Joanna. Atans of Serpent's Hole. That's just the guest list. Hello. You know anything about the murder? You see a gorgeous and voluptuous woman in her 30s. Very specific. What's your name? My name is Ap Apollonia, she says as her tongue licks her upper lip. What do you know about the murder? Apollonia shuts her eyes and shakes her head as, she, as if she had just bitten into a very sour lemon. Ooh, that was so hideous. How could anyone do something so horrible? Art thou searching for information? I do hope dost find the person responsible. Job. Why, I run the Honorable Hound, Pub and Inn, she purrs. Wouldst thou like a room, or wouldst thou like something to eat or drink? Just say so, and I shall try to please thee with my delicacies. You realize she is flirting with you. Let's flirt back. Apollonia blushes and bats her eyelashes. Oh, plunge, I would wager that thou dost say that to the barmaid, to all the barmaids. Tell me about the Honorable Hound. I can think of no better place in all of Trinsic to lay thine head to rest, or to nibble upon treats to satisfy thine appetite. Uh, let's leave for now. Apollonia blows a kiss at you. Do come again. Okay. I'm going to do a quick save. I don't feel like I've done anything significant, so I don't mind just replacing this for now. And then we're going to take a short break. I will be right back, everybody. <laughs> 